All right, guys, continuing on, second half of my Minecraft stream for the night. I'll be probably going for about another hour or so. So far, it is a nihilistic goldfish in the lead right now. Anyone wants to try to top his contribution to get something named after them in the town, uh, you have an hour left. If not, nihilistic goldfish will get the pier named after him. It'll be nihilistic goldfish pier, apparently. Okay. Um, so I destroyed the dude over here. So it allow anyone to try to run and jump all over on my shit. Oh shit, I just walked over it myself by accident. <laughs> there we go, let me grab that torch. I'm gonna put that onto the fence like I did on the other one. Mr. Bob says you can use solid blocks on the sides of the stairs like you can smelt some cobblestone and craft stone brick blocks. Use stone wall blocks which you can craft too and maybe place some slabs on top of the stone wall blocks. So we have to block them and look interesting. So what you're saying is instead of destroying the ground around it so that it's not tall enough for them to jump on down on top of it, build a wall around it with with bricks. I see what you're saying. It's kind of a different approach to it, right? Yeah. So I'm surprised I don't think anyone's going to beat the 10,000 bitch here. Well, you know, I'm a realist. You probably are incredibly, an incredibly high chance you're correct. However, I've been surprised myself at some people who are so generous on these streams that all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they come and, you know, do something even bigger than that. You know, whether it, whether it's a cheer or a tip, um, you know, it's happened. So I'm not going to rule that out and say, oh, you know, that's just that, you know, it's, it's definitely out of the question. Uh, it could happen. I'm not expecting it to happen, but I'm not saying it's impossible for it to happen. See what I mean? All right. It's starting to look a little better. I, I definitely didn't finish it down there. I got to finish the end of that dock there. I got to put a fence down there, right? You know what I did? I fucked up. I didn't, uh... I fucked up and I didn't, um... Whatchamacallit? I didn't bring a fence with me. I gotta go grab a fence. I know I have a couple extra ones. A gate. That's what I mean. A gate. Not a fence. A gate. For the end here. Yeah, I need a gate for the end to open and fish or fish over. There you go. It's a little better enclosed now. I probably want to build this fence up a little bit more too. But I need more fencing. And then put a gate at the end here. And I can fish over the end. And also I could dock my boats there, right? I think so. Alright. Vladamis. Cheers. My friend's work is a laborer and complains he's only off two days a week. I remember you're only off one day a week. And want to know any advice you would give him to stay focused and motivated. You have to understand if someone who is a actual laborer doing physical work is doing something completely different than me, it's probably, at least mentally, uh, oh, let me change that again. If physically, it's a lot easier to do what I do. I'm just sitting here playing games all day, dude. It's not the same work, all right? He is probably so physically exhausted from doing his job. I can get mentally exhausted from doing my job because I'm constantly having to talk and think and do a different kind of thing, work than he's doing. Um... So I can't give advice to someone who's in a completely different line of work. That's like saying, oh, there's someone who's a rocket scientist, and, you know, those really tough calculations are always hurting their brain. Phil, how do you recommend that they, they not have a headache? You're like, what? How can I do that? <laughs> Tobias Alexander says, it was good to... He's catching up with my Phoenix Wright videos, and uh, he's going to catch up on my E3 videos. What did I think of Nintendo? I thought they did a great job. I thought Nintendo... Uh, we did one of the best uh, overall jobs at E3, presentation-wise. They had a lot to talk about. It was stuff people wanted to hear. You know, basically, it was a lot of uh, good good stuff in regards to, oh, you know, we listen to what people want. We're here to present things that, you know, people ask for. And, uh, you know, a lot of good game information. It was good. It was very good. So, there you go. All right. All right. Um, I think I want to, if I can, just 
fix the fence a little bit more. Make sure things can't get over it. Like right here. Ah, fuck. Fucked up. What's the heaviest single item I lifted without help? I have no idea. Maybe a keg? <laughs> Back in my college days. Or not my college days, my uh my days when I had like an apartment and stuff, and people would come over for big parties and shit. Probably a keg. Not to say I didn't hurt my back doing it, because I did, but <laughs> it was pretty stupid that I did it. But I did it. There you go. That's even better. Now nothing's gonna get over here. I can go right here off the side. I like that. We're gonna put the sign, put the sign right here, hang it. And if, if, if Nihilistic Goldfish wins tonight, it'll be Nihilistic Goldfish Pier. I can make it better later, but this is just a basic pier to start. Okay. Okay, I like that. So what I want to do now, I want to build, a, like I said, a gate here. Much like I did the other gate. But obviously I'm not going to have as much room to do it. Um, but yeah, I want to build like a gate here so that I have something to climb and I can see out like I did the other gate. I'm not sure how, exactly how to go about it. Now I'm thinking about it. I need more wood. I need more wood. Oh, I don't want to go cut more. I really don't want to go cut more wood, but it looks like I'm going to have to. I'm tired of fucking chopping down wood, man. I'm tired of it. Cosmic Clown Faces, you lift, you lift a lot of de a lot of stuff every day. You lift our spirits. Well, thank you very much. All right, I've, appear I've apparently exposed myself again. There you go. I've exposed myself again, guys. I completely exposed myself. There you go. I've been exposed. I don't know what the hell he's talking about, but I've been exposed on stream. I got exposed on stream. I got blown the fuck up and exposed on stream. What the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> okay, stupid. Oh, man. Um, okay, I put this away. I don't need the Nautilus shells. I don't even know why I have the Nautilus shells. I need to go chop down wood. Do I, have an a Do I even have an axe left? I think all my axes are broken. So I gotta make more stone axes. Uh, I have to make more stone axes. I have to make, like, five more. Uh. No, no, no. Alright, I mean, seven axes. <laughs> this should be enough. It better fucking be enough. Okay. Um. There's lots of trees off to my right here. See that? Alright, I'll get to work on these trees over here that I haven't even touched yet. Alright. Alright. What was out of control? What are you guys talking about? The heaviest thing that a bodybuilder Phil could lift was a keg. Exposed. You mean a keg full of fucking beer that weighs like an insane amount? Do you understand how heavy a keg is full of fucking beer? It's insanely heavy. Insanely heavy. Like, I remember I hurt my back doing it. I was rolling it and then lifting it and moving it around the fucking apartment myself. I was like, dude, this is a bad idea, but why am I doing it? Oh my god. A hundred pounds? You actually think a hundred pounds? You're out of your mind. You understand how heavy gallons of water are? <laughs> Go take a gallon, okay? A gallon of milk. And lift it up with your hand and see how heavy it is. Now multiply that by how many gallons fit inside of a keg. Think about how heavy that is, stupid. <laughs> this guy's so stupid. Uh, Super Flash Jason, what are you doing for Pride Month? Uh, me? Nothing much. Because I, you know... 
I'm, I'm a straight guy, so really, it'd be kind of weird for me to be celebrating LGBT uh, and all the other, you know, things included in their pride when I'm not that. You know what I mean? But I do 100% support it. I think everyone, I've always said this, and I'll say it again publicly, everyone has a right to be happy in their life, and everyone has a right to have their own sexual orientation however they want and not be criticized for it. The only thing is obviously, you know, that it doesn't, um, it doesn't harm others. And what I mean by that is some weirdo might say, oh, I want to have sex with, uh, you know, children or something crazy like that. Fuck no, that's not, that's not cool. You know what I mean? But sexual orientation, why, first of all, why does anyone care? How is it anyone's fucking business? What your sexual orientation is. It's no one's business whatsoever. At all. It's not, in my opinion, I don't think it's, it's, it's right, anyone's right to ask you. It's none of their business. If you offer up that information or if there's a, a social situation where they want to know because maybe there's a, you know, some kind of a possible uh, connection there or something, that's different. But, you know, why does anyone care who you who you are attracted to or who you make love to and shit? Oh, it's none of your fucking business. Mind your own goddamn business. You got your own shit to worry about instead of getting it. What was that noise? Was it that cat? I hope it was that cat. I thought it sounded like a, an Enderman around here or something. Right? But anyway, I'm 100% supportive of anyone. I don't care what your sexual orientation is whatsoever. Whether you're straight, you're, 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 you're gay, you're bi, you know, gender fluid. I don't give a fuck. I really don't care. What does that have to do with anything? Zero. Zero. Literal zero importance to how anyone should be treated, judged, or anything. You know, and I've always said everyone has a right to be happy. It's I, I also have the belief that people are wired a certain way and it's not their fault. I don't believe these people who think that like, oh, you can, oh, that's, it's not normal to be a certain way. You could be deprogrammed to have this mental mindset. That's insane to me. That's like, it's not someone's fault that they have these feelings, right? Like, that's fucked. That, it's messed up to judge against someone because, oh, because, you know, my mom and dad always told me I had to be straight, but I grew up and I realized that I was gay. And now my parents disown me because they say it's weird. They want to send me to some camp to deprogram me. Who's whose fucking place is it to judge what's right and wrong in that way? Like I, that's it's, it's so crazy to me. Seriously, that is so crazy to me. But yeah, like I said, the exception is things that are legitimately harmful. Pedophilia is fucking harmful as shit. It's fucked up. And yeah, that I believe is something that has to be you know treated as a mental disorder, and you know because that could concretely hurt people. But it's no one's right to tell you, you know, oh, I'm attracted to guys or gals or, you know, you know, people who maybe don't have a bi a, a binary gender. Who, whose fucking place is it to tell you that? No, it's no one's. It's no one's to be able to judge you at all. Zero. There's not a single person on planet Earth who has the right to judge you for that shit. And you can be happy however you want. And that's always been my belief. And it always will be my belief. No one's going to change that. Okay, um, let's see here. Egg Gangster Charity said, um, when I worked in a coffee chain, I once carried 12 gallons of milk at once. Do you think I'm strong? I don't know if that's the same as a keg. 12 gallons of milk is heavy as fuck. So yeah, you're probably pretty strong. Vote Communist Jared and said, can you settle a debate from chat? Circumcised or no? No, I'm not talking about that. That's stupid. <laughs> that's fucking stupid. An anonymous cheerer did a 90-bit cheer. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not interested in a Discord. I'm not interested in a Discord. Does my website have a country block? I can't access it from any internet connection to my country, says Ellipsian. We're, uh, well, Ellipsian, you, maybe you don't want to expose what country you're in. Um, it's not... The website block is basically there are things that happen that certain countries can't access certain things, and it might not be your fault. It might not be our fault. Um, if you want to contact me privately with information, I can see if we can figure out a way around that. And sorry about that. In general, it's not a major problem we have, but every once in a while, I do actually hear that. So now, this is actually a situation for the first time in years that like a lot of people are going to want to use my website, so we may be hearing more about that, and you're, you're probably certainly not the only person affected, I'm sure. So, please, if you'd like to contact me with your information, we can look into it and try to figure it out, okay? Manscaping or no? This is insomniatic me. Personally, do I care about manscaping? No, I don't. 
my wife doesn't really care either. Um, but I'm sure there's people out there who prefer people who are, like, you know, nicely trimmed in certain areas or whatever. Um, you know. For me, it's more of, a, of convenience. Like, if you get hairy or gross in an area, you want it to not be hairy or gross, you can take care of it. And, I, you know, I don't think it's wrong to do that. I don't think it's wrong to, to ask of that of, of someone, of a significant other, um, at all. <laughs> and I'm, certainly it's not to say that I've never done it, because I have tried it in the past. What the fuck is that disgusting sound? You filthy spider. You fucker. When it dies, it makes a roar or some shit. What is that noise? <sighs> filthy disgusting spider. I know we got some interesting topics tonight. I don't know why people are talking about this stuff, but whatever. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Cody Carlson, did you really break your back carrying a keg? I thought it was football or some heavy bones. No, I didn't break my back carrying the keg. I, the, the, it, my back hurt after I did that, but that is not how I injured my back. No, definitely not. The truth of the matter is we don't know how I fully injured my back. It's, it was never. I never really determined what it was that I was doing. That uh, that messed my back up at all. I don't I don't know to this day, you know what it was that did it and made it all made that disc get herniated. I have no idea. It could have been just a bunch of dumb shit that I did over the years and didn't take care of my back. It could have been that I was overweight because I was I was very overweight. Like I said at one point I was over two hundred forty pounds, I believe, or I was probably like I say that I was probably like two thirty something, like two thirty eight or something. I don't know if I ever actually hit two forty, but I was fat, dude. Just look at my original videos on YouTube. From 2008 that I made and compare them to now you're like oh my god like it looks so different I do I look completely different now my face is, is not as nowhere near as chubby my body you can just tell when I stand up how different I look right demon DJ is resubbed for 25 months thank you demon DJ and oh excuse me pure Jesus is a king of milk way more than a king of beer I don't know I honestly can't answer that you have to talk to someone who knows understands the density of different liquids. I mean, maybe different liquids way more than others. I have no idea. I can't answer that. I can't. I don't know enough about it. Ow. Okay. Oh! Who was that? Someone out here hiding in the forest, growling at me. Does a ton of feathers weigh more than a ton of bricks? No. It's just still a ton. But a gallon is a, is a liquid measurement, not a weight measurement. It's volume, not actual weight. And that's why if you have, if you have, for example, a certain measurement of one thing versus a certain measurement of another, one thing could weigh more than the other. What is, what is going on over here with this fucking zombie sound? Did I play Fire Emblem Warriors? I don't believe I did. Doesn't sound familiar. There you go, Mr. Provavera says different liquids can have different atomic weights and be heavier than equal volume of water. There you go. Ha ha! Ha! He said it in a fancy way. That made a lot more sense than the way that I said it. Probably because he's a lot smarter than me. Ha ha ha! What is this growling fucker? Where is this asshole? Oh my god. There's still more! Where is this? Where is this fucking zombie? Where is he? He's hiding up here somewhere, but I don't directly see him, so there's a wood all over the floor. Ah! Is this the last piece of wood? It might be. Is that it? Did I kill this tree finally? Things ginormous.
Was there a hidden piece of wood somewhere in this fucking thing? That I didn't get and the thing won't die. I don't know. I don't think I've seen any wood. I think I might have gotten it all, but I don't see the greenery going away on its own either. Would I ever consider getting waxed? Oh my god. Probably not. That'd probably be insanely painful. Cody Carl Street said, apart from your wedding day, at what other points in your life did you wear a tux? A tux? An actual full-on tuxedo? Never. If you're talking like a suit, I've been to other people's weddings before where I wore a nice suit. I've been to a funeral before where I wore a suit. Um... But never have I worn a full-on tuxedo anywhere. I didn't wear a tuxedo to my own wedding. I wore a regular suit. I've never worn a tuxedo in my life. Beard just said, if you could pick one space shuttle, real or fiction, that best explains you as a person, what would it be? I have no idea what the hell you're talking about at this point. Ben Boxer Chase said, suck a surprise, says, who's your favorite Star Trek The Next Generation character? Ooh. Man, they're all good. Like Data, Riker, uh, obviously Captain Picard, Worf. Um, Obr Chief O'Brien, um, you know, uh, the Doctor Beverly Crusher, uh, what's her name, uh, Doctor Deanna Troy, they're all good, actually she's Counselor Deanna Troy, she's not Doctor, they're all good, they're all interesting, unique characters, that's what I really liked about that series, is every character got crazy full plot lines, where the characters got flushed out, you get to, to learn all about the ins and outs of their different races, and, you know, uh, their cultures, it's really well done, that series. Like, incredibly well done. By the way, did I get all the wood pieces over there? I believe I did. And I did get the tree because I can see that the greenery is falling, uh, falling apart now. Okay. There's no mods right now. I guess all the mods went away for the night. Well, what can you do? Italian Frog says that the chill Minecraft seems to be supportive, but I do them more often. No, I actually find that if I play Minecraft more than just a couple hours a week, it does kind of get boring. I'm being, honest, being very honest with all of you. Like, I like doing the chill streams, but I like doing the variety of chill streams. Like, today I'll do Minecraft. Tomorrow I do uh, Battle Royal. Um, you know, the next day I do something else. I just don't like... I don't like doing the same thing over and over and over. You know what I mean? Then I, I think if we did the same thing so too often, it would become stale and boring. We wouldn't like it. I actually think it's because I only play this once a week that it stays refreshing and interesting, quite honestly. Well, Democrat cheered. He said, Where did I catch a nice dream? Very good shit, brother. Thank you, sir. Well, Cody Carl says, Did you own that suit previously or did you buy for that occasion? I, I owned it previously. I went to a friend's wedding a long, long time ago. I'm talking shit. Right at the beginning of my YouTube career. Before I made money doing it. Because that was when I still had the office job. So that had to have at least been a 9 to 10 year old suit that I wore to my wedding. But I only wore it once. And it sat in my closet the entire time in a suit bag. And so it was perfectly fine to wear to, to my own wedding. wood so that's good i'm gonna need a lot to build this friggin uh gate that i'm gonna make so i also need to make a sign because it looks like nihilistic unless we get a big contribution in the next uh 40 or some minutes it looks like nihilistic goldfish will be the top contributor of the night and we'll get the peer named after him for tonight so i guess we'll see what happens here Stromboli gave me a $5 tip. He says, it used to be that anyone could become a gaming influencer from out of thin air, but now it seems there is some serious gatekeeping from people who were given positions of power in the gaming industry. You're right. You're absolutely right. What's happening, this is what happens whenever we allow an industry to be taken over by paid influence. That now, it used to be, oh, anyone could be someone who could be considered a guru or someone to follow when it comes to a certain thing. Sadly, in gaming, what's happening now is you're getting an elitist few who the game publishers, 
who the media, etc., have chosen. These are the, the, the chosen few people who are our golden boys, who we want to represent everything when it comes to a new game. They get all the games early. They get paid to play the games early. People watch them play the games on stream early. And just by default, because they've been told that these are good content creators, they believe that they're good people and, you know, that everything they say is legit and honest and true and not that they're getting fucking paid to say it. And these people are becoming filthy rich, and they're getting all the fucking influence and all the attention. While everyone else who used to be genuine and do it for the love of it, uh, they're not getting any opportunities anymore. It's absolutely 100% true. You are correct in what you're saying, Mr. Stromboli. And sadly, this happens in every industry. This happens when you get pay the, the paid sponsor, the, the, the golden boy, you know, elitist sponsor. Um... You stop seeing you stop seeing genu genuine, uh, you know, people. They go away, and all you get are paid spokespeople, so let's e celebrities, right? Who are going to be getting these games early and doing these streams and all this stuff. You know, I don't want to be a part of that. I never wanted to be a part of that group, and I refuse. You know, there were many opportunities over the years where I could have gotten in with that group, and I refused. I wanted. Oh God, it's raining. Ah, shit. Maybe I have enough wood now. Let me try to find my my village. Fuck, I don't know where I am. Oh, shit. I seriously don't even know where I am. Oh, fucking shit. Where am I? Here, I okay, there it is. Boy, am I glad I built the towers. Why did I refuse? Because here's what I feel. And this is my genuine feeling. If I all of a sudden became a paid spokesperson... I would, I would lose my ability to be objective. You know, when I play something and I give you my opinion on it, I'm being as objective as I possibly can based on my actual real-life experiences. Um, and I pride myself on that. If I were to be constantly be, I get the game earlier than everyone else. I get paid to play this game. My opinions are going to change. It's just a natural thing. Even if someone who claims, oh, no, I swear to you, I'm still going to remain the same guy and I'm going to remain objective... It's not possible, in my opinion. It's just not to remain 100% objective when you are now getting compensation for what you're saying or doing like that. You know, me, what compensation do I get? From you. You guys crowdfund me to do what I, I love to do. That's loud. To do what I love to do, and because you crowdfund me, I'm able to stay true to myself. But if you didn't crowdfund me and instead I relied on, you know, all this income or all this input from, from companies or sponsors, or someone giving me the shit for free, you know what I mean? Because they made it and they want me to kiss its ass, I wouldn't be who I am today. I would be a completely different person. I would probably be Greg Miller. I would probably be these big time fucking streamers who I don't even want to mention their names because they're assholes and they'll probably talk shit about me on social media if I say anything. Because um, I know a few of them who already have, who I never said a word about them. And when I called, when I in general called out on social media influencers, they actually attacked me because they realized that this is their fucking position of power and they rely on the influencer model to be popular and make money. And that if, God forbid, that if I expose it for what it is, they would actually lose money and clout. So they all talk shit about me and try to blacklist me in the industry. Um, but there's a ton of them, guys. A ton of the top people are basically just. Hey, chills. They, why do you think they get everything early? Why the fuck did the guys from Kind of Funny Games get Metal Gear Solid 5 early? Were they known for playing Metal Gear Solid? No. Were they even known for being longtime Let's Players? No. They were the guys who got the game early. They, you know, the golden boys of the industry. These are the chosen people who are going to be the chosen few to represent companies in the future. And you're right, it's becoming this, this paid-for elitist group. And it's not good. It's not. It's not good, man. Okay. Oh, man. We'll get their comeuppance? I don't know. So here's the thing. Like, for every situation where someone gets their comeuppance, there's another 25 people who don't. You know what I mean? Like, it's actually a rarity in this day and age. Where someone actually get their just desserts. It just seems like this is a pretty a completely unfair world a lot in a lot of times. And you know 
the the actual hard workers who should be out there and should be actually be getting the credit. And by the way, I know I'm not necessarily just talking about me. I'm talking about many many people out there who are genuine, who love what they do, who do it for the sake of loving it, not for the sake of a paycheck. Uh, even though it's it's fun to make money doing it, those people get looked over, glossed over, tossed to the side, while it's these elitist guys who get all the attention. And it's never going to change. It's been like that. Television, movies, and every kind of advertising, anything. It's always fucking been like this. These corporations get involved and ruin everything. You know, the gaming gaming today, in 2019, is drastically different of how it was 10 years ago when I first started on YouTube. And anyone could get noticed for being a fun gamer with good commentary or whatever. Now it's, it's a totally different world only a decade later. It's messed up. It really is. Well, a dummy, dummy to me two dollars, and basically says that Griggy got it because he was a he basically kissed the butt of Konami and Sony. I mean, but that's what I mean. Does that mean anything? Oh, because I kissed the company's butt. Does that mean that you should be the person specially chosen to get the game before literally anyone else on planet Earth? You get to play it first. How does that even make any fucking sense? How about someone who was known for making Metal Gear Solid Let's Plays, like a really pro player of Metal Gear Solid, gets the game first, or someone? You know what I mean? Someone who genuinely is doing it. For, 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 you know, I, I just don't understand at all how some of these guys got to the position that they're in. What the fuck did you ever do to earn it? <laughs> Who was there grinding their ass off making content for five, six, seven, eight years before you and they get passed over but you're the so fucking selected person? You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? I hate that shit. Shit. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm, I'm, re I'm responding to Stromboli's tip. He said the following. It used to be that anyone could become an influencer from out of thin air, but now it seems there's only seri there's serious gatekeeping from people who are given positions and power in the gaming industry. And this is absolutely 100% correct. There are people who are literally handpicking certain positive people who they want to represent their, their companies and stuff and not putting out any honest coverage or content. But people are believing that these people are honest content creators when in reality they're not. They're paid shills. And there is a gatekeeping process now where it's hard for honest, hardworking, genuine people to get noticed or get any kind of attention because everyone else who's the paid shill gets everything early. If someone's already playing a new release a week before you, how are you supposed to get any kind of clout or coverage when you actually cover it, right? And it's not fair that these selected people get, get priority access to everything when what did they ever fucking do to earn it besides just kiss butt? Ah, fuck. You're absolutely right, Mr. Probaveri. It's all corporate imaging. They want to play, play it safe to give, to give this stuff to faces who look like they're good for sponsoring. Yeah, they're hoping when they have kind of funny games be someone who to cover their game early, that kind of funny games doesn't be exposed for some kind of huge controversy and become the next pro Jared or the next whoever, right? But in reality, you shouldn't care about any of that fucking stuff at all. You should care about who actually genuinely is an honest person instead of a kiss ass. <clears throat> Alright, Mitch RV guy. Enjoy your lifetime ban. I've been trying to be nice to you. You used to be someone who positively contributed to streams. And for the last like three months, you've done nothing but come in here and be an asshole to me. And I've completely ignored it. And today I've had my fill, so get the fuck out and I'll never see you again. Asshole. Like he's in here insulting me saying, oh yeah, because Phil, you know, Phil's a hypocrite. Who did he ever help? Who could I help? I do, do I, when I get a chance to plug someone or, or be nice to someone, do I do it? Yes. But in general, whenever I try to help someone, it hurts them because my trolls go over there and follow them and fuck with them. So, in general, the few people who are trying to be nice to and help or be friendly with end up getting hurt in the long run. Who the fuck could I possibly help? I'm an exception to the rule. But this guy wants to be a dickhead and act like I'm a hypocrite. Get fuck off. I want to kill this zombie. Got him? Got him. Good. 
Pizza, tip me a dollar. He said, how can an average Joe Schmo compete with people who get games early through corporate favoritism and get all the early views and money? They can't. Simply put, they can't. And I give a lot of credit. I give an absolute lot of credit to people who do this for the love of it 100% because they know that they're never going to take off. They know they're never going to pick up and become popular, yet they still grind and do it. I still I, I give those people more respect than the biggest streamer on the planet because they do it because they love it. You know what I mean? Now, I'm w one of the super lucky people who's able to still do this for a living. I love what I do. I haven't never got sour on it. I'm still the same guy I was when I started. I'm very honest. I haven't changed. And people love what I do to the fact that I can make a living doing it. But I'm the exception to the rule at this point. The only reason I can do it is because I started so early. I'm so lucky that I was the guy who did it from back in the day and I'm still around to do it. You know what I mean? There's so many people who, who are just as honest and lucky and, 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 and genuine as me, but they will never get to the level that I'm at because they don't have that, that level of long-time support like I do. That's why I'm so happy to all of you who come out and hang out with me and support me because I realize what an anomaly I fucking am. How many people have disappeared from YouTube or Twitch over the years that have been doing it as long as I have and I've been able to keep doing it, so thank you for that. A lot of people forget, I'll, I'll bring you up, a lot of people forget I did this content creation I did from 2008 until 2011 and never made a penny doing it. I was all, uh, any video I put on YouTube, it couldn't even monetize. So I was doing it just for the love of it for two and a half years before I even, where I lost my office job inadvertently, lose the job. I had no idea I was ever going to lose that job because I was getting commended and everything at the job at the time. And uh, I lost my job and then I was like, well, fuck, what am I going to do? And by a whim... I just decided to try to do this for a living, and it worked out, you know? But I grinded two and a half years of my life dedicated to making content for the internet and never getting anything out of it until I finally even saw a penny, you know what I mean? But now people can't even, can't even do that. I really don't believe that anyone who was like me back then could even get any kind of popularity, and that's not fair. It's the hardworking, the hardest working, most honest people who are getting screwed right now, quite frankly. Take that. <laughs> Hit the creeper in the ass with an arrow. He, he ran away. He's like, oh shit. Cody Carls cheered. And he said, I see you give a lot of distractors and people several several to dozens of chances to stay in chat. And most of them never change. Do you think you give too many chances or put too much trust in people sometimes? In general, if someone gets banned from chat and comes to me, Honestly and says man, I'm really sorry for what I did. I'd like another chance. I'll give it to them The only exception is I the thing that really gets me is people who are completely dishonest So for example, if there's someone in chat who pretends like they're a fan of mine And then I find out that behind the scenes they got a whole Twitter account That's the t uh, you know dedicated to shitting on me They go into the tractor chats constantly making fun of me And they're basically trying to get me to debate me and to say stuff on stream that detractors can now make videos and content on That's the dishonest shit that kills me because it's one thing if you come in here and you you generous or generously you honestly just like oh I made an off joke about Phil and he got pissed and I got you know I got moderated or whatever and I apologize for it. Usually those people come back, but it's those systematic liars and just fucking people being so dishonest behind the scenes that fucking really piss me off and aren't gonna get back in here. You know, Mr. RV guy was a guy you could see he used to cheer and be supportive on stream. That was like a year and a half ago. All of a sudden, he disappeared from streams for a long time. Now he comes back for the past two months being a complete dickhead to me constantly. And I'm like, I'm gonna wait. Maybe he's having a bad day. I'm gonna wait. Maybe he's just, you know, maybe he's just in a bad mood. He's done it for two straight months. That's enough. That's enough for me. You're out of here, dude. Ben Boxer Cheery said, the system is rigged in a way that such the cream doesn't always rise to the top. Is that what you're saying? I mean, I guess. I guess. Certainly the... The vast majority of large content creators out there certainly are not the highest quality or the most entertaining or the best. Ha <laughs> ah. ha. the Angel, you're not banned because you're not an asshole. Even though you're critical of me and you criticize things that I say and do, you don't you never outright insult. You don't say anything personal about like my wife or stuff like that. You don't bring up sh shit like these assholes talking about my personal shortcomings, illnesses, things like that. You if you're going to criticize me, you're a genuine critic and you give legit criticism. By the way, Cress, when you're in here, a lot of the times you're being positive. You're not always being a negative dick. So why am I going to be an asshole to you and ban you? I wouldn't. 
because you're a genuine person. Is these people who are just so fucking negative and outright just want to hurt? Those are the people that I don't want in here. You know what I mean? You're you're completely the opposite of the kind of person who deserves to be moderated in this chat. <clears throat> Wendy's chili to be two dollars and one cent to become the top ch ch chipper of the night. It says, thanks for streaming. Ban anyone who's being a detractor. Real talk. Oh, my God. All right, hold on. Let me get him up on the leaderboard here. Wendy's Chili, which, of course, I believe that's a Wings of Redemption mod. Or mod. A Wings of Redemption meme is what I meant to say. I honestly don't know. Is that what it is, guys? Is that a Wings of Redemption meme that he said he loves Wendy's Chili or something? And you, keep, you guys keep asking me if I like it. I tell you it's fucking disgusting. Because it really is. It's really nasty. Is that what it is? <laughs> I'd like to understand these memes, so at least I understand what's going on in my own chat. Detective Conan did a 200-bit cheer. What's up, Detective Conan? Thank you for the cheer. Looks like the uh, rainstorm's over. And Mr. Papa Vera just cheered and said, I'm thinking of some more designs and maybe something you might like. As far as fences and going past, would you still be interested in a more advanced design? I did a thing with your large gate, redesigning the one you made. I was thinking of working off of that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, don't stick me a dollar. How did the originators of the medium get ostracized from the industry and replaced by talking head puppets? <laughs> Boy, that was a fancy way of saying what we just said. Um, uh, how? Uh, you know, I, I would say, as streaming became more popular, what people, re what they realized is that people were very gullible. And that you could just put a smiling, happy face and get that face to get attention versus someone who's actually there not to be a smiley, happy face, but instead to be someone who's genuine. And maybe that people, even though there's people out there who are like genuinely, you know, honest, and there's people who are just overly negative too, I think they realize that we just make someone who looks like a cookie cutter kind of smiley face positive person that that person could represent our company and could make our products look good. Um, and then... I think, you know, when you take a look at people who were being honest, like, wow, that person who's honest isn't always going to necessarily make our product look good, right? So maybe that's not who we want to get any kind of priority because what if they're, what if we give them a game in advance and they say it sucks or whatever? Well, we just want someone who's going to say it's good all the time, right? And the bottom line is if these people are getting games a week early, they can't even legally say that the game's bad. Like, they're told there was, there's a review embargo. So even if you don't think the game is good, you can't even say that right away. You're told you have to wait. Which is fucking stupid as shit, in my opinion. What about someone like Kozatov? Kozatov has been an asshole forever. And he doesn't learn. He's had a million chances. We told him to stop being a dick, and he just does it anyway. He's not coming back. Well, Democrat cheered. He said, Wing Wings eats Wendy's chili every day against his doctor's wishes after his weight loss surgery. I don't believe that at all. At all, because I think that you guys completely over-exaggerate stuff about that guy. I really believe that. I think maybe there are things bad that he does, but I think you guys completely blow it out of proportion and over-exaggerate it. Um, at the same time, ever eating that chili at all if you had a weight loss problem, I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? That's like the worst possible thing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Seriously. Oh my god, Wendy's fucking chili when you got a weight problem. Oh my god. What the fuck is a trapped chest? Oh, it's a chest that traps someone inside of it, I guess? I need to make another uh, chest here. <clears throat> there we go. More storage space. Cooked cod. Oh, you know what? I got more cooked cod over here, don't I? Wendy's chili in moderation? Yeah, like once in your whole life. That's about mo correct moderation for Wendy's chili, in my opinion. <laughs> Try it once just to see how bad it is and never, ever eat it ever again. It's so fucking gross. I hate that stuff. That was so nasty when I had it. I was like, oh my god, dude. I got... I, I found... By the way, it gave me a stomach ache and I shat that whole day. I couldn't stop shitting. <laughs> but I ate that stupid chili. Ugh. Right, let me get all the shit out of my inventory. Speaking of shit, let me get all the shit out of my inventory. Uh, am I going to use any more of this? I've actually now, I've been doing so much, I've completely lost track of what I was doing. You know what I really need to do? Because I'm only going to be streaming for about another 10-15 minutes. I need to uh, make a sign so I can name that pier. Because it doesn't look like in the last 10-15 minutes, it doesn't look like anyone's going to beat Nihilistic Goldfish's cheer. 
uh, contributions wise. So I'm assuming what I need to do is get ready to set that up for him. I have to figure out how to make the sign. Well, that horse does jumping jacks or whatever it's doing. Oh, uh, let's see here. Master Shake tipped me a dollar. So Nintendo announced Dr. Mario World for mobile devices coming July 10th. So is it a mobile Dr. Mario game, huh? Oh, shit. I just knocked my keyboard right on the floor. That's interesting. Dr. Mario actually probably could be a pretty interesting competitive mobile game. Where the fuck did it go? Jesus Christ. My keyboard went flying behind the couch. I made a rubber? <laughs> oh. Someone's doing the detractor meme from Wings over here now. SuckingSams.com to me a dollar and says, I ordered vacuum parts. I haven't gotten them. Any chance you're going to ship them soon? That's a, apparently a troll meme where uh, some troll... I guess I guess Wings is saying that people tipped him and then they would dispute the tip via PayPal saying that <laughs> saying that he owed them the vacuum part. They ordered vacuum parts for him and he didn't ship them or something. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway... Um, what was I doing? I had to make a sign. How do I make a sign? Anyone know how to make a sign? Oh, fuck. What did I do? What happened? Oh. Let me see here. That's a painting. That's not a sign. Item frame. Oh. Here we go. Oak sign. I need two more. Okay. Only two more. Boom. Boom. I'll make two signs. Oh, I made three signs. Okay, I made three signs. All right, so yeah. Oh, Mr. Papa Veritree said a trapped chest is a redstone component that can interact with redstone and also use trap chest as popular with griefers that set traps for non-observant players. Experienced players can discern a regular chest from a trapped chest by looking at the color of the wood around the latch is slightly different. It sounds like a fucking mimic in Dark Souls or the chain looks different, right? Cody Curl says, I thought you once said Chili's burgers were the best. If Chili's made out of the burger, how is it bad? Because it's not the good prime pieces of fresh beef. It's the runoff. People, they were making burgers, and the pieces, like, broke off and fell to the side of the grill and sat there all fucking day, or it fell on the floor and shit. That's what they make the chili out of. I know, because my cousin used to work at Wendy's. She's like, the chili's literally made out of the bad meat. That's the leftover gross shit. They throw that in the chili all day. Like, oh, my God, that's disgusting. Zugaru did a 500 bitch here. So, Will Phil, if you were sending out vacuum parts, can I get some too? Yes, Zuguru. They're coming express to your house tonight, of course. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we got a sign. And I'm going to hold on to the sign until the end of the stream. About another 10, 15 minutes. We'll see how this goes. If anyone, will anyone beat Nihilus the Goldfish's contribution tonight? Maybe they're going to wait till the very last moment to trump him so he doesn't have a chance to counter with a larger contribution and try to get his name on that dock tonight. We're going to find out. Bo Democrat cheered. He said, yeah, Wings never sent me my vacuum duster 2000. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Mazalis, I'm only telling you what my cousin told me. He's like, oh, you don't want a lawsuit. What are you saying? Dude, I'm telling you what my cousin told me. Not maybe my cousin lied. I'm just telling you what my cousin told me. All right? <laughs> I'm sure, by the way, I'm sure they're not told to do that either. I'm sure it's not in their instructional video. When you drop a burger on the fucking floor, stop on it three times and then put it in the chili. I'm just saying... That's what my cousin told me was happening at the job when she worked there. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. By the way, I'm pretty sure Wendy's doesn't give a shit what I say about their chili. I'm pretty sure people are going to eat it no matter what. <laughs> I have no influence over it. By the way, I should say Wendy's, like I said, I love... Their spicy chicken sandwich and their burgers I really enjoy. I think the chili is disgusting and gross. Everything else on their menu is quite good. So, <laughs> everyone, you know, every place has something. Yes, this is this must be an Amish community, Vic Von Do. They're looking at me building shit. They're like, what the fuck is this guy doing bringing modernizations to our place, right? Yes. Ha <clears throat> <laughs> Bambino says, with Dragon Quest Builders 2 on the horizon, have I thought of a big send-off for Minecraft if it does replace this? <sighs> I don't know. Like, I think what I want to do, what I'll do is I'll compare the two and decide, geez, do I want to only do one or the other? Are they too similar? 
we're doing both is too similar and it would take attention away from the other or maybe people would get bored of one or the other so you know we're talking less than a month dragon quest builders comes out on the 12th of july and at first i'm going to cover it as a main release game for a couple days and then it's probably going to become like a night streamers thing or something i guess we'll have to see firsthand we're going to have to see together what the game is like and go from there that's the only thing i could think of okay All right, um, so what was I doing? I had the sign ready. I was... Did I finish the dock? I don't even remember. I was cutting down wood. Oh, wait, I remember what I wanted to do. Wait, did I have the fencing now? Fuck, no, I don't have it. I wanted to do a tiny bit more fencing because it wasn't even. And then I was going to use the wood to start building the gate, the back gate. At this point, I don't think I have enough time to do it tonight. Here we go. What the? No! <laughs> what are you doing? I mean, technically it's safe. That sheep can't get out of the dock. But I didn't intend for the sheep to follow me out on the dock here. Get back inside. Get back in here. Ridiculous sheep. What are you doing, man? Stay in here. All right. The dock is... You know what I need to do? I need to put torches up on... Yeah, that's exactly what I need to do. I need to get torches and put it up all around the dock to protect it. Let me craft some torches. Oh, fuck. I used all my coal. <laughs> I did it again. I have to make a bunch of coal here. I guess I could sleep. If you, if you sleep, does it continuously burn overnight? I don't know. I don't know how this works. At this point, I would like to say thanks to everyone who contributed tonight. We obviously had a bunch of tippers. We had a bunch of cheerers. Thank you for that. And I appreciate all your contributions. In particular, obviously, Nihilus the Goldfish with that really generous cheer. Thank you very much for that tonight. How do you vote on viewer's choice? You go to thekingofhate.com. You go to the forums. On the forums, the general area. In the general area, the top highlighted, posted, uh, stickied thread is where you post up your nominations. Okay? That's how you do it. I'm pretty sure I used all my other torches, right? No, I have 64 of them. I'm just a complete fucking buffoon. Oh, my God. All right, let me get this out of here now. I'll just let that burn until it dies out. I had 64 torches the whole time. I'm just a complete idiot. Oh, brother. What? What? Uh, no. Okay. That looks pretty good. That should protect me from the baddies, huh? those fucks away. No one's spawning on my dock. Okay. <clears throat> Fucking moron. Another, another moron who's been here all night making alternate accounts, getting banned, making more alternate accounts to say the same thing in a loop, and he's completely stupid and wrong. I love it. Okay. <clears throat> it's time. Is it time to say goodnight? Yeah, but five minutes left to see if you can top my list of goldfish, guys. We'll do a countdown. What is this, rutabagas? What are these?
Beetroot. Beetroot. You are farming beetroot, huh? Cool. All right. There's that. There's the name tag. I actually don't need the name tags because it looks like I'm gonna be naming the. Uh, I'm gonna be naming the dock tonight. So all I'm gonna need is wood to build my tower. Right? I'm going to use wood and a ladder pieces. I'm going to go grab ladder pieces. I'm going to keep that in inventory. Let's see. Get that out of my inventory. Get that out of my inventory. I'm going to need torches to put up on it so that it doesn't get invaded. Fuck, did I even put torches up on my other thing? Oh, shit. I don't know if I did. I need more fence pieces as well. i got to make more fence pieces. So I need fencing, ladders. Here's the ladder. That's enough. I need fencing. So I gotta go craft a few fencing pieces. Here we go, grab this. There. I think 42 pieces of fence should be probably enough to surround whatever uh, arches I build. Pop up, Mr. Papa Vera Cheerio said, No, the time of smelting and redstone ticks does not lapse while you sleep. The time passes immediately and operates at a constant tick specified in the back or spe speed in the background. The only time it stops is when you pause or leave the game or the chunks are unloaded. Timbal Slice Cheerio said, How excited are you for crashy racing? I'm excited to spend all this weekend reliving my childhood. So here's the thing I'm excited because I've heard so much positive stuff about Crash Team Racing, I never played it. So I don't have, like, oh, man, nostalgia. It'd be like me playing Mario Kart Remastered, the original Mario Kart or something remastered. I'd feel it. But I've never played Crash Team Racing, so I don't have that feeling of nostalgia. At the same time, I am excited because you guys are saying so much positive stuff about it. I want to put the story. I want to do online. Like, I'm pumped to try this out for the first time on Friday. I'm pretty excited. So what I'm hoping is hopefully it's better than Sonic Team Racing. Not that Sonic Team Racing was bad, but... People, since there's so much hype behind this, I'm hoping it ends up being a better game. I think way more people are going to buy this, obviously. So. Ooh. Someone just said, Crash Team Racing isn't as good as Diddy Kong Racing. Oh, snap. Are you going to take that? You're going to let him say that about it? Oh, shit, man. God damn. <laughs> damn, son. Let him talk shit about your favorite racing game. Oh, snap. Okay. Cody Carls is cheery. So I remember you started doing the longer vids as a test during KO Gaming a year ago. One year later, has it helped any? I'm sure it's better. Your watch time is up. Watch time is up. Ad revenue is way down. Here, and here's why. This is the honest truth. Watch time's way up. So that stat's good. Engagement, way up. That stat has skyrocketed. And one year of doing the longer style videos has made my channel more in line with other YouTube videos. But sadly, here's what's happened. I put up an hour-long video, you would think, oh, it's supposed to put one ad every 15 minutes, right? It doesn't. YouTube doesn't do it right. What YouTube does is sometimes it's, a, it's supposed to do that, and sometimes I'll play an hour-long video and it has one ad on it. I'm like, huh? Why does it only have one ad? Now, I don't control that, and I can't even see that until like a day later. If I go back and check the video, I'll notice there's only one ad playing on it. So when I used to do short video, let's say 15 minutes, I would upload four 15-minute videos, and every 15-minute video would have one ad on it. So I would be guaranteed in one hour of footage to get four ads credit. A lot of the times now, I'm only getting one, which is one of the major reasons why ad revenue has plummeted for me on YouTube, and I can't fix it. There's no way for me to fix that. That's YouTube's fault that that happens. And I could go back later on and manually add advertisements, but the bottom line is that it will it will not help. And here's why. In general, when I upload videos to YouTube, most people watch those videos within the first 24 hours. It's absolutely true that, especially for a new release in particular, when I'm going to get big views, I only get the ads within the, or excuse me, I only get the views within the first 24 hours. But I can't see that YouTube screwed up and only gave me one ad for like a day anyway. If I go to it, it'll say, oh, here's where the ads are supposed to be, but it won't necessarily play them and you can't even fix it. Um until like a day has passed so i'm screwed basically like because i'm doing the longer videos my engagement stat is up my overall viewing time is up positivity like if you actually look at, at ratios like thumbs up versus thumbs up thumbs up have been up subs are up everything's positive and up on the channel and ad revenue is way down because of youtube and the way it works because they automate the site to be a piece of shit instead of actually having it work properly and there's nothing i can do about that as long as i i keep the longer videos um i'm gonna i'm gonna suffer 
financially in the pocket from it. If I went back to doing 10 minute videos, I'd probably like double my income on YouTube. I'm not even kidding. I'd probably double my income on YouTube. But now everyone's so used to this style of video that's a longer video. I'm not going to change that. That's not the, the fault of the viewer who's now gotten used to this longer style and everything in the last year. How is it their fault? YouTube's a piece of shit and doesn't work. It's not. So you see what I mean? Like, I don't even know what I could do anymore. Okay. Um, Mysterious Venus Lord. Timmy, $4. Said, Damn, son, where'd you find this? I don't even know what the hell that means. And you are the top tipper of the night. But I'm not going to put Venus Lord on my leaderboard when I'm ending my stream. Vote Democrat just cheered. He said, do you think ad block should even be a thing? I always said I don't think it should be a thing. But we're not going to get into that semantics at this point. I've talked about that a million times in the past. Um... You know, there, I do believe there are situations where ad block is warranted, and I'd be a hypocrite to say it's never warranted, so I'm not going to get into that, okay? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. I'm now about to go put up the sign on the dock. This is your absolute last chance if you want to contribute. You have one minute left to, to, to beat Nihilistic Goldfish. I'm going to give you one minute. We'll do a countdown, all right? Well, actually, here's what I'll do. I'll walk across my town once you know what I really want to do I want to check on um, my gate and see how my forest if it grew during this session if my forest completely grew out then I'll go and we'll, we'll do this so the last minute guys there is a cat trying to climb the ladder up the freaking gate are you stupid I guess so here's how it looks I believe all the trees have now grown if I'm not mistaken. No, one of them didn't. <laughs> one of the trees. Whoa. These things fucking grew. Oh my god. I might have to trim these. These things got out of hand. They overgrew. Look at that. They completely overgrew. It looks kind of cool now, though. What I might want to put is lighting, like put some lamps or torches up here to light the way and trim these trees so they look nice. And so you have a nice formal walkway welcoming you into the town, right? I still got the shovel. Good. Clean that up right there. Let's see here. Two little slice cheers. said Crash eats Diddy Kong for dinner while he races. Cody Carl said even with your comments disabled, your engagement is still up. Yes. Even with my comments disabled, my engagement went up last year. Because the all engagement is, is basically how many people watch, how long they watch, and whether or not they clicked on something. Whether it's an ad, whether it's they clicked like, dislike, that's engagement rating. So as long as they did it, it's fine. People have this misconception that comments are, are all the engagement entails. It's not. People just don't understand how fucking YouTube works. All right, I think it looks good. All right, we're going to head over. Looks like I'm going to have to sleep, and then we're going to name the dock. Zugarook did a 100-bit cheer and said, 0, 0, 0, move those zeros to the cheer mouth. <laughs> Basically, he's trying to fool the, you know, pretend like he was going to do a 100,000 bit cheer, but it didn't work out too well, man. Sorry, that doesn't count. <laughs> okay. These guys are going into their, their gifting phase where they toss vegetables at each other voraciously. Look at this. <laughs> Accept the gift of my carrots. Take my goddamn Oh, he, so he spied on us. With our late night carrot gifting. Oh, yes. Oh, take it. How do you like it when my carrot splashes on your face? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, my God. That is so fucking weird. But that's part of the game now. All right. This is it. It looks like Nihilus the Goldfish has, it will, will become the top contributor of the night. What the... Looks like I defended my town well. Because this asshole can't get to it. Fuck off! Suck on my arrow! I missed. One more. Headshot! Nice! Executed. Alright. So what did I say I was going to call this? Nihilistic Goldfish uh, Pier? Yeah. Where should I put this? Right here. Can I put it here? Where can I put the sign? Um, hmm. 
Here we go. Wow, it's fucking delayed. <laughs> oh, how do you capitalize? Oh shit, I don't want emojis. How do I capitalize? There we go. Um, you know what? I think if I did three rows, it would be better. But how do I go back now? Here we go. How do I... Hit? Is there like a return? Here you go. Here you go. Nihilistic Goldfish Pier. How does that look? No! Oh, shit! Oh, fuck. How do I fix that? Oh, no! How do I fix that? Is there a backspace? X. Oh! Okay. Now, how do I say I'm done? Here it is. Our first named part of the town that I've been working on for a month. Nihilistic Goldfish Pier. Thank you, Nihilistic Goldfish, for the top contribution tonight. You've certainly earned yourself the distinction. And the, actually, the sign's kind of crooked, which is kind of nice. The way that it sits there. I like that. All right. Time for some sleep. And to say thank you guys for a great night in Minecraft. It was very fun, the discussions we had, and everything was good. A good, a good stream. Next time I play, um, more than likely I'll build this new gate that I wanted to do tonight and didn't get to. Um, and like I said, what I'm going to do is probably start looking into the trading with these, these people. Figure out what I need for commerce with them. And uh, go back to my, my actual settlement. See how my settlement's doing, right? My house and everything. And, uh, and figure out what I need to do and go from there. All right? Good stuff. Good session of Minecraft. Let's uh, let's save just to be sure that doesn't screw up. Very nice.